Hello guys, this is Mike from programming.org. Uh, in this C++ tutorial, I am going to talk about the difference between passing by value and passing by reference. So you may hear those uh, phrases, but what do they really mean? I'm about to explain it to you. Okay, so, so far we're used to passing in by value. Okay, so what that means is if we have a function let me code a function down here. I'm just going to say void is the return type and pass by value. Okay, so pass by value means we're going to pass a value into this parameter right here. And what do I want to do with this? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's just multiply it by 2. So I'm going to say um, x and a shortcut for instead of saying x equals x times 2, a shortcut can be x, the multiplication sign equals 2. There we go. It's one too many spaces. It, the space doesn't matter, but it's just for my OCD sake, I guess. So what this means is a shortcut of just saying x equals x times 2. All right? And if we give a number in here, let's create an int. Um, my number, my number equals nine. I always use that as my lucky number. And well, we got to prototype this, don't we? So before we can run this code in the main method, we need to prototype that method. So when your compiler compiles this, it knows that this is a function below, so it will continue. So let's say pass by value and we will plug in my number alright and it's going to have this x which is my number and multiply it by 2 so you would think that it should print out 18 but let's see what happens um, my number we'll end that line alright so let's build and run that and we still got a 9 so what is up with that pretty much what happened was we're passing the value that this memory uh, address or variable is holding okay so we make a copy of this alright we're not dealing with the memory address we're just dealing with this uh, number right here 9 and we're copying it and multiplying that copy by 2 but we're not uh, giving a new value to the variable name my number and how do we do that though that's that's kind of frustrating so what we do is it's called pass by reference and what happens there is we're not going to just pass in the value we're going to pass in the actual memory address of uh, the variable my number so we can do whatever we want to do and then that value stored in there will change alright and that's where pointers come in handy so I'll just write it here and copy and paste for the prototype so we're just gonna have another void method function sorry pass by reference there we go and we're gonna write it the same except for we are going to call it a pointer x alright so make sure you have the asterisk on there and now what we can do is we can have the same exact code x and have that multiplication equals 2 alright and copy and paste this to prototype it above or you could just write all the methods above main and you wouldn't have to prototype it but this is just the way I happen to do it doesn't really matter how you do it alright so let's um pass by reference we'll just change it here reference alright and my number and let's see what happens if we run this. It might not work as well as you think it would. And we got an error. And the reason is, is because it's expecting us to put in a pointer. So we need to throw in a, the, uh, the reference operator to give it some type of address to point to. So we need to use that ampersand sign. All right, now I can look at the address of my number. So it's pointing to that address and it's manipulating that address or the value in that address and multiplying it by 2 and keeping that as its value okay so it's not making a copy of it like it was in pass by value so let's run that now and what happened 
Oops, I meant to put it. You need to put the uh, asterisk right there too. So let's run it now. All right, and now we have 18. Okay, so now we know that my number, the value has changed, okay? So why other reasons are, so what other reasons can this be beneficial? Well, when you make copies of variables, that takes up memory space on your computer. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't affect this program at all. This, this is not going to clog up my entire computer. But if you have thousands of lines of code and a very critical project going on, and you need your thing to be as efficient as possible, you need to worry about how much memory you're allowing to uh, create new variables and whatnot. So it's a good idea to be as efficient as possible and start programming that way from the get-go. You know, not don't start with bad habits. And now we can directly change values inside of the variables, inside the memory locations. So that is what pass by reference does. All right. So if you're looking at other people's C++ code or looking in books and stuff, you're going to see a lot of method or functions. Sorry, I can't stop saying methods. Functions that have a uh, a pointer as one of its uh, arguments. And now you know why and what it does. So thank you guys for watching. And I think in the next set of uh, videos, I'm going to try to get more into uh, creating classes and then objects because that's one of C++'s major things was it's an object oriented language so we need to start getting into that a little bit more and maybe come back to some other things we can do with pointers later on in some uh, distant videos. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.